All right, my people, now welcome back to Critics News. I see the B now. They say that the UN, which is the United Nations, <laughs> say they don't wedge in into this regime matter. We be saying they happen on social media where some people don't they cut chain, they fight each other in Nigeria. Remember that one woman, one Miss or Mrs. Amaka in Canada has been trending on social media after she made a statement out of anger because of what other people have said against the Igbos. She also came out to air her own opinion on the matter. Nadia, the hell broke loose. They say they must hunt this Amaka down because of that statement. Now, the people who are saying that we must bring her to book, where is that exercise book? Write her name there. Bring her here. Kill her. Be, who, ba, be, bo, bo, me, bo, eh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give them blow. Give them blow. Now, that one with the suffer sense. Even as I they talk to you, the time when I take the waka pass for TikTok, I just they see random people on this topic. For how many days now? Now, in the day, when I they do for social media. They talk how I want to take my Igbo people. How I want to pursue them. How I want to take some Igbo, Igbo people. They go, they go platforms. As I, they do something now, we be say we suppose focus on. We no go see these people here. They go, they go, they give audience to people we no want them, we no like them. People where they insult them. On TikTok, you go see our people pack. They go there, go they patronize this person. They give them audience. They give them their the the means to live. You know, no say if if these people will be said and they preach this hate, if they go on TikTok, they go on social media to to rant, and no evil person goes to these platforms that they will they will fade away. No, our people waiting say they wise pass. No wonder they, they use Igbo, they do caricature for Nigeria. They go rush, go there, you go see view. You go see 1,000 people watching one idiot live. Somebody will be saying the Igbos, now be in topic. Only thing he knows how to do is Igbos are criminals. Igbos are criminals. Yeah, Igbos are criminals. And our people are flooding in. Yes, I wait them. I'm looking for them. They have run away. Wait them. And our people are coming in, calling in, giving him the audience. Giving. But if I go online now to discuss something reasonable, you know, we we'll see anybody there. May we de mumu ourselves, they fool ourselves, they claim say we de wise. Una de mumu na se. Una no get common sense. So. They, they rush, they threaten person. You must go on social media to threaten people. This mentality is is killing us and taking us backwards. Even me, when they hear go, 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 people say, still they threaten me. Say, oh, you are not coming to this Biafra land. We are, we are not, we are block root. We are not coming to this one. This is all we know. You go here, you threaten, go here. Una no go fi. At least, una de respect on herself. When all these people will be say they, they drag on a leg, they come out. Una go, they give them the opportunity. Don't give people room to see you finish. I beg. They say that the United Nations don't finally find out. Say the way when Nigeria take this, say mm -mm 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 -mm. see this Nigeria, you know go feel work. UN don't talk. Say Nigeria is deeply divided. That because if if to say you they follow up on what is happening, the trend there, eh, you go see say there is no love, no unity inside Nigeria. This unity love way they, they preach, anybody you see preaching it, it's just just to see how let us manage. Uh -huh. May we just they may not be like say are the preacher. That is the love that exists in Nigeria. There is no genuine love to stay together in Nigeria. Yorubas wants Igbos out of their Lagos. Oh yes. Igbos wants Biafra. Igbos wants their own nation. Okay, the problems have gone come worse because some of these people where they draw map, the people where be say then they say then they draw map. When I go draw, enter Edo. When I go drop, enter Calaba. When I go draw, enter River State. When I go even cover Saridokobo inside them. <laughs> when I go cover Saridokobo, enter inside the map. If you know what you are carving in. 
Do you know what? If in case you want carve map, I'm not saying you shouldn't carve your map or we you know feel control. Just carve map. Remove as a over from that map so that you can have rest of my <laughs> Our people will be saying they claim say they they wise. You see see map when they draw. When I go draw map from abroad do from abroad. When I go draw map, say oh they are Biafrans, they are Igbos, they are this one. And these people are carrying yash, they go back. If we, if if something go, goes bad, you know go find them easy, you know go find them funny. Because some of these people are no longer with us. So the years has gone by when all these people were with us. But now some of these people have chosen their own path. Some people say they be Niger Delta, they know grief for that one way they talk. Because they want to be on their own. So why must you come and force and say, oh, we 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 we, we are you must come with us in this Biafra. They you know good life. No wonder and I make them they say with the thief who want to thief their land. No, let everybody be. If you don't want to stay with me, good and fine for me. Go your way. I saw myself they see life. I know they for this you must because you are you are who this one. <laughs> The equipment where they suppose they take track terrorists for Nigeria, make a show now. Waiting, they take and they take and they track Nyash. <laughs> you no go understand now. Look at this. Nigerian authorities used police tracker to monitor political enemies. Okay, mistresses. That is madams when these politicians they carry all those big big Nyash <laughs> instead of terrorists. And kidnappers, retired senior officer. Now you come to tell me, say, oh boy, see what in the apple. I, I shouted when he told me, say, see what in the, they use our money to. Now, meanwhile, they say nearly 50, 56,000 Nigerians has been killed by terrorists. Full army terrorist armed headsmen in last four years. 21,621 has been kidnapped. When I see inside the country, and the president is not uh, outraged. The president is not uh, complaining. The president is not, you know, overwhelmed with this report. The president is still comfortable. Bala blue. We are going somewhere in this country. Now listen to what uh, this man has to say. This ordinary president. Out of 100% money with and tea for Nigeria, over 80% are not an Astifa. I can prove it to you anytime you are ready. Some other people from other regions, they tear, they never, they no, they no feel get courage to thief money for government without a notana. Nothing will give them say go, because an average person believes say government money if you carry and no be thief you thief. Make I talk him the way he be so that if adjustment go happen, make it happen. All right. Did you hear that? Did you hear? No, we may talk him more. Okay. A retired senior police officer says that the real-time tracking technological platform that once helped the intelligence response team, I Aruti, to crack many criminal cases ended up being used by politicians to monitor enemies and mistresses. Vanguard newspaper report. According to the newspaper, the officer was reacting to each question on what went wrong with the system put in place to monitor the locations of kidnappers and intercept calls for prompt arrest and rescue of abducted teams. The Nigerian police force launched intelligence-led policing in 2015 with the installation of a tracking device that was installed by the then Inspector General of Police, Solomon Arase. Solomon Arase, where is that man from? Please, somebody help me in the comment section. Solomon Arase. I don't... She na Yoruba ma abibo. Arase, Arase. No, no, no. There is also the operation unit code named Intelligence Response Team, IARUTU, which is still in operation. The team monitored the kidnappers' movement in real time with the information from the device, thereby helping them stay one step ahead. 
The device also helped investigators analyze the locations and the patterns of calls made by terrorists and kidnappers, their routes and potential hideouts. In addition, the device provided valuable evidence such as call records, location data and communication patterns to build a strong case against the kidnappers. One of such cases was the arrest of five kidnappers of former secretary to the government of the Federation, Chief Olu Falai. He was taken captive by Fulani terrorist hazemen on September 21, 2015, during his 77th birthday. In this case, five of the kidnappers came to pick up a 5 million naira ransom in Suleja, Niger State. Immediately, the kidnappers removed the SIM card used to negotiate we knew where they were and intercepted them at the last bridge to Mina. Vanguard quoted one of the senior police officers who effected the arrest as saying, The ransom money they collected was still in the boot and the SIM card. Five of them were arrested. The motorcycle they used to convert Chifu Lufale was also retrieved. The 5 million naira ransom was marked by the bank. They removed only 100,000 naira from it. The kidnappers were sentenced to life imprisonment. On a 2015, who was the president then? Was he good luck, Jonathan? Or um, Yara Dua, who was the president for 2015? I beg, Muna, help me for comment section. 2015, who was the president then? He added, the priority of successful I, uh, successive IGPs was quite different. Solomon Arase set up the platform when he was the IGP. It was a technical platform to track calls. It was mounted in the IGP's office then, and only one officer who is now an AIG had access to the technical platform. The intelligence response team, IRUTI, was supposed to be the operational wing that would work with the technical platform. When the technical team got information, it would pass it to IRUTI to go to the location and make an arrest. Drones and vehicles were brought for the operation. We are bought. But successive IGPs, who were analogs, didn't know what to do. They marked the technical platform and IRIT. Instead of the platform being used for crime prevention, it became political. People in the National Assembly and Villa got hold of the platform and used it to track their enemies and their mistresses. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> For such platforms, you don't give both the technical and the operational unit to just one person who would be compromised by politicians. That was the beginning of the collapse of the platform. It requires someone with power and intelligence, someone of a strategic level who is keen on the line, on that line. So now they see him. So waiting they take and they monitor now. Now any small boy will be say if they carry the 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 gear when when our politicians they carry <laughs> Nigeria actually if you they carry woman when politician they carry they will intercept your call and track you <laughs> then arrest you for carrying the same woman within the chair within the knack politicians in Nigeria this is what you people have turned the uh, the machine that the then federal government bought to track down terrorists in this country. This is what you guys are doing with it. How do you go? Let us kind of go. Look at this man now. Look at him. Maybe they use a machine to track him. Look at this guy. Nigerian whistleblowers ordeal. They say that Pidomi Nigeria held in chains for six days by police. Brother Nares harsh treatment of Isaac Bristol. On the same, this guy where they say they don't capture, where they say he, he release sensitive information, uh, this and that, they don't hold up. These are the people that Nigeria can track immediately, easily. But go see terrorists, full and see them, 56,000 people, and they don't buy. Tell, show me how many people when this guy don't buy. Show me how many. Full and terrorists are still roaming about, shouting, kai, 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 kai. But nothing will happen to them. Nothing. This country, we are still, we still claim that, oh, we are moving forward. By the grace of God, this country will be better. Now, take a look at this one now.
So this is happening in Nigeria now. This is happening in Nigeria. People who are traveling by the road are stuck because of full and terrorist activities. Instead of we to come down, think how to decimate these terrorists, think how to tackle our government, we are busy tackling ourselves, looking for how to 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 buy ourselves, give them poison. Yeah, good, yeah, good. Yeah. Nine block Lagos, eh, hey, Ibos, Bia, go, wah, we, we are, Ah, Chineke, where are we, Ah, politicians eh, have damaged our brains. And that is why we cannot collectively fight these criminals. We can't fight them because there is so much division. And they know that is why they will never allow Nigeria to divide. Because if Ibo stay together, if Ibo stay together, if I go to Enugu, go to Ebony, go to Abia State, go to Imo, and complain to them, look at what this, this uh, president is saying, that we will not have blue road and light. Oh, they will all gather, because they, they understand what I'm saying in Igbo language. Now with this one, why I won't communicate with Yoruba person, I go, they use English. You know, say lies are better told in English language. I won't communicate with our Osama. I go to talk and for English. Sometimes some of those people in the north will not even understand what I'm saying. So how do we successfully dismantle the criminal element that have impoverished us? It's difficult. You get the point now. So UN, since I don't see and say Nigeria is deeply divided, I beg. Make on a try call for referendum. Make on a try call for referendum because that is the reason why all these nonsenses are coming out. All these cries, all this, in fact, quarrel, all this hatred. Uh -huh. As far as we Nigerians did now, even when they want to invade Niger, all the Nigerians stood for Niger, even though we don't know them. You see? So that is mutual respect. But assuming that Niger was part of Nigeria, you see, it would have still been a quarrel. We for still a quarrel. So, but because they are on their own, they have their own respect. They are living their life there. You see how Traore now, that guy now will be their president. They do well. They treat them well. So, I beg, they are speaking their language. It's only Nigeria that doesn't have la language, official language. No language. We will want to speak English to ourselves. British or not really do. May they divide this country so Igbos can go. Yorubas can stay and speak their language in peace. As Russia did now, Russia is speaking their language. Ukraine, they are speaking their language. India, they have their languages. Um, all this Pakistan, Afghanistan, Palestine, this one, Israel, they have their local languages. When they want to address the press, CNN, they address them with their local languages. It is CNN that will be scrambling for interpreters, not the Russian president or Putin. That will be looking for interpreter or looking for a way to go to school to go and learn English to please uh, uh, slave masters, you know, just you know, just to belong. Even somebody when was making who was making comment on this matter, he said, "No, once you cross to our nature, you can see people when they feel speak English. It's English their language. Once you cross that our uh, nature bridge, you see people when they say something, they know somebody speak English." They never be this, they never be how to do this one. 
see waiting people think they mock themselves saying that you are doing twelve twelve for some people i beg muna help me share this video make it go viral un it's time for a friend though. thank you for observing that nigeria is deeply divided and i agree with you completely until nigeria is divided may everybody day their day there will never be peace believe you me no matter the reconciliation from now even if jesus like may come pour in blood may use kunkum take the drain in blood may they throw away for nigeria <laughs> there can never be peace in nigeria until you they dismantle what they mantled there i come in peace i'll see you now for the next one thank you